you know, again, guys, really quick, I'm, I'm going to address the case, the EC, whatever his name is, really, really quick. Um, we did not remove EC Negro off the shelf. I, I could show you days worth of messages. It, it, I, I'm not understanding the whole making a story up. You know, I never got along with him. I never cared for him. I didn't care from 15 years ago when he was a rude, nasty kid. Um, he's on some kind of pedestal, which you need to know what you are. I always knew I wasn't very good. He doesn't understand that, that he's not very good. But fans got a kick out of him, and I was cool with that. He, he wasn't respecting that when he was a green kid, I gave him matches with the SATs. He wasn't respecting when he was a green kid, I made him the multi-time tag team champion. Okay? I didn't even know if he was alive or dead. Mike Zivon asked me to use him on my last Florida show. I agreed. Mike Zivon said he spoke to him, he worked it out, he was getting himself there. All of a sudden, a month before, he starts whining. Oh, I have to check airline flights, I don't feel like driving. Then two weeks before the show, if I drive, can I bring a tag team, will you use them? I agree to everything. Three days before the show, yeah, it's not working out, I'm not coming. Hey, I'm washing my hands on it. Zivon says again, Frank, for me, my best friend, will you give him another try on this show? All right, fine. We'll do the DRS. That doesn't work out. So I, I agree to give him a singles match. I pay him a month ago. 125 bucks. My personal opinion, he should be selling tickets to be on a show. But again, Mikey's my best friend. Mikey asked me a favor. I paid EC Negro a month ago. I paid everybody on this show. Everybody's been paid. Paid him 125 bucks a month ago. Uh, we've had no uh, no friction other than me having to consistently ask him and ask Mike Zivon to remind him, plug the damn show. Plug the match. Plug, do a promo. Do something. Nothing. Nothing. Then I see he does a video where he says he's retiring. I write to him this morning. I said, are you still doing the show? He says, yes. I said, good. He said, this will be my last match. I said, look, I said, we got like 15 matches on the show and a battle royal. Um, if it's your last match, I'll come up. He's biting me again, babe. The puppy. Um, if it's your last match, I'll come up with something good for you. But I got to make some match changes. I'm not, I'm not going to make a change and do Ivan versus Manny or any No change like that. But I got 15 matches. I got an 11 o'clock at night curfew. I can't give everybody on the show a singles match. I can't do it. It's not that I dislike you. It's not that I dislike anybody. But at 11 o'clock, if we have two matches to go, what am I supposed to do? Tell Jack Swagger and... J Ow, Kath, please. Hey, Tell Jack Swagger and James Storm, sorry, you've been paid, but I can't use you because it's a curfew. I have to change some matches. Not the big matches, but I need to make a couple tag matches and maybe some three ways and focus more on the Battle Royal, the Royal Rumble. He says, if you make a match change, I'll return your money. I write to him an hour later. I said, I'm sorry. I got to make a match change. I said, I'll give you something good. I'm not removing you from the show. Uh, if that doesn't work for you, here's my PayPal. He then starts calling me names, calls me a mark. It's funny. I don't know how somebody who in one wrestling show has made more money than he has made wrestling and working every day of his life. I must be some mark. Huh? One wrestling show, I have made more money that he has in his whole life doing anything. Yet I'm a mark because I paid him a month in advance because I do the right thing. Calls me a couple other names. I said, listen, I, I wrote to him how I felt, everything I just told you guys about the Florida thing, about his lack of respect. And he is, he has a lack of respect for this business. He, he's under this delusional, this, he has this delusion that he is some talented wrestler and WWE is screwing him and Ring of Honor is screwing him. Look, you're not very good. It's that simple. You're not very good. 
okay? You're not good looking, okay? You don't have a nice body. If you went to the gym for six years, did nothing but work out, then your body would be considered crappy, okay? I, I don't, look, I'm going to be honest, okay? I've had at least four promoters message me in the last three hours telling me, Frank, this guy's the shits, and he calls me all the time for bookings. He flies himself to NXT, okay? Really, and you're calling me names? And I said, look, all I want is return the money. You said a hundred times, I'll refund my money. He says, I'll give it to you in person. Okay, Aww. what? You need to get a better look? Am I shaking that bad? What, are you, what is that? First off, I'm 53 years old. What are we going to play this? I'm going to beat you up. I'm going to beat you up because I backed out of your show and I'm telling everybody that you took me off. Oh, yeah, and I'm keeping, no, I'm going to give it to you in person. I, I don't understand. What does that mean? I'm going to give it to you in person. Why don't you just PayPal me? Are you under some bizarre... Is there some bizarre thing in your head that makes you think for a possible second that I'm scared of you? Or is... I, I really got to know this one. Okay? Granted, I'm 53. Granted, I don't get around so well. But please, let me tell you something. Okay? And I never do the... I'll beat you up. I can beat this one up. I can do anything I want. Never do you hear, never has anybody heard me say, I can beat the hell out of this guy and beat the hell out of that guy. I got to tell you something. If this idiot has any delusions that you would last any more than 3.2 seconds with me, what are you, on crack? You know, just because the masked maniac acts goofy, and just because the masked maniac acts stupid, okay? And just because I'm 53 years old and I don't get around so well. If you live in the world of delusion, will you honestly believe that I couldn't rip your arm out of the socket and beat you with it without even breaking? What are you on, some kind of crack? What is that? I'll give it to you in person. I said, okay, fine. He says, give me your address. I live in Florida. You live in a cardboard box like in the Bronx. You don't need my home address. PayPal it to me. He says, give me your address. I say, better than that. Give me your address. How's that? Give me your address. How's that? So he gives me like 922 something. I don't know what it was. He gives me like like half an address. I said, give me the rest of the address, Mr. Tough Guy. I'll give it to you in person. Mr. Tough Guy, he'll give me the address. I said, give it to me. He goes, Google it. What am I supposed to Google? <laughs> Type in untalented schmuck face who's green as Gumby's address and it's going to come up? What are you, an idiot? Really, seriously. I mean, has standing on the service road of the Van Wick Expressway... Cleaning people's windshields, selling beaded rugs, gotten to them? I mean, see, come on, don't be foolish. First off, as I'm 53 years old, what are you going to do? Are you going to roll around on the floor with a 53-year-old man? Look, I paid you a month ago $125 to be on the wrestling show. You said if I can't give you the match you want, you'll return the money. Okay? Here's my PayPal. W-I-L-L-Y Goodman 007 at yahoo.com Pay the money. Rather than going on your Facebook page right, and writing how I'm this and I'm that and I took you off the show, really, would you like the conversation posted on the internet where you backed out of the show? I mean, what? I really want to know what kind of an idiot... Is, is agreeing with this, with this moron on his personal page. This, I, I, it's, it's, the delusion in this idiot's mind, I gotta tell you, and I know who did it, and I'm gonna talk to the guys who trained him, 
But I got to tell you, if I was the one that trained him, I would say to myself, man, did I drop the ball. Really? I'm going to, I'm giving you that money in person. <laughs> what, what, are you saying that because it gives you some time to save up $125? What, the 60 hours at McDonald's, maybe you can save it up? Come on. Come on. I, I, look. EC Negro. Guys, guys. He's biting my toes again. Guys, look. EC Negro, look. I didn't like you 15 years ago. I don't care for you now. Okay? You can write whatever you want on Facebook. I actually blocked you because I can't stand looking at the ridiculous, the, the asinine things you write. 99.9% .9 of the people that have met you laugh at you. And I got to tell you something. I know a ton of people can't stand me. I know a ton of people laugh at me. I couldn't care less. You know why? Because I got a house in a couple different countries. I live at Disney World. I go to Disney World every day. I got a gorgeous wife. Okay? I got two amazing children. I got the best puppy in the world. I have no worries in the world other than my health. And you know what you are? You are a sad, sad excuse for a professional wrestler. And what you did last night by saying you retire? Retire from what? Retire from what? From wrestling in front of 12 people? From running shows so you can play the main event guy? Come on. Here it is. This is how it is, okay? You owe me 125 bucks. If you're not going to pay me, I'm going to talk about it all the time. And every single person who follows me, okay? Everybody who follows me, everybody who gets a kick out of me, everybody is going to talk about it and post about it all the time. And they're all going to see the conversation, how you backed out of the show, only because you weren't happy that I was going to change your match. I still said I was going to give you something cool. But all because of that, okay? So if you're not going to pay me, then I lose 125 bucks, okay? If you are going to pay me, just PayPal me. Don't make yourself sound like an idiot. I'm going to confront Frank. You're confronting nothing. Really. You're, he can't buy a ticket. He can't even pay me the $125. You're confronting nobody. You want to play tough guy? Play tough guy with your little friends in your neighborhood. Okay? Really. Don't play tough guy with me. Because it doesn't work. Okay? And I'm not going to come on here and say... I would smack the living hell out of you. I'm not going to say I'd rip your arm out of the socket and beat you with it, because I wouldn't. Because I barely even know what you look like anymore. I barely even know what you look like. You mean nothing to me. I'm only saying this stuff because like 10 people have sent me screenshots of the most asinine thing you wrote on the internet. Listen, you're going to screw me out of 125 bucks. I'm going to make sure every single person in this wrestling business knows about it. That's what you want to do? You'd be my guest. Otherwise, do the right thing and PayPal me the money. It's that simple. That simple. Okay? That simple. Danny, for $125, he's out of your life. Actually, no, Danny. See, low life's like this. To him... See, to me, after this, I'm done talking about it. Other than me telling everybody how he owes me 125 bucks. But no, somebody like this, this is the pinnacle of their life. Like, this is it. The biggest thing this guy ever did was win tag team titles on a show of mine 15 years ago. This guy has never done anything. He's never going to do anything. And me talking about him right now is what I really shouldn't have done. Because this is the biggest thing to him. He's probably going to say, oh, I'm not going to retire now. Yeah. Why? Don't retire. <laughs> yeah, Lilith, do it. Everybody, do it. You know? Yeah, really. I mean, I'll put his conversation out. I don't really care. He means nothing to me. You know? I won't even put his conversation out. We'll have a quarter of a million followers. Oh, some of you don't realize a quarter of a million active followers. Stevie, I don't remember him. Who remembers him? <laughs>